Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is the video that you have all been waiting for. Are you guys ready? So this video, we're going to talk about the restock for Mystical Diamond R as well as the new releases that we have coming in. I hope you guys aren't hazy. I feel like you're hazy. Hopefully that's a little better. Maybe not. Got you guys a little odd here. Okay. I'm sorry that my surface is so like scratchy and stuff. I just, I've been working on it. It's been a while since you guys have seen a plain background. So a few things before we go into too much detail, we do have restocks. We do have six, I think, new images. I'm going to show you guys all those images here. I only have about 30 minutes to film, so I hope that I can get everything inside of this one filming session, uh, because if not, it just delays things, and I am ready to get this launch on the way. By the time this video goes up, Mystical Diamond Art will be restocked. If something is out of stock, because you saw this video and you went to go order, it's out of stock. You will have to wait again for it to be back in stock. I apologize. I doubled my order from the first launch, doubled what I ordered, and doing the math and how many inquiries I've gotten, I'm worried that it's not going to be enough. So if something is out of stock, when you're watching this video and you go to order it, I deeply, deeply apologize. Just know that I am constantly working to find a good rhythm to keep the business flowing. So that being said, um, another thing. So you guys are not shocked in any way, shape, or form. I do want to let you know that these are the boxes you received before. The box isn't changing. However, because of the way um, ordering from these companies works, you pay for the box ahead of time. Um, I talked about this before, about having an issue with the box. My logo was originally blue. It was supposed to be blue, and the box is green. Well, instead of going through the hassle and delaying things further by waiting for a new box, I decided to change the Mystical Diamond Art logo to green for now. This is one of my boxes. Um... And so that's why this logo is a little bit torn. That's why I used it because I did tear it. So I decided to just use it in the video to show you guys. So they don't have to pull from inventory. So the logo is going to be green for now. However, when I do get things taken care of, you will start seeing the blue again at some point. I don't know when. You know, it's one of those things. So it matches the box. My, that was my husband's thing. He was like, babe, these boxes don't match. They don't look right. Change it. So I changed it. Okay, let's get into it. So, like I said, we do have um, restocks. And I'm going to talk about the restocks when I get there. I'm going to do those two canvases last. So, as far as new images are concerned, here's the first one. I will take you guys down to see it a little bit better because I know um, this angle is just not right to see a whole canvas. So this one, let me pull out the inventory sheet for it. I don't have these in order. I'm kind of just pulling as I go. It's probably going to slow me down. Alrighty. This is the first piece we have. This piece is called Salem the Cat. Here is the inventory sheet for Salem the Cat. Remember all of these are stickers. And you can also peel off the sticker for um, the cat or the image. So Salem the Cat is this super up close image of a cat. This is one of my favorite, favorite images from this release, you guys. I am so excited for it. Let's open the canvas. I'm sorry, there's like some weird stuff going on with the lighting right now. You guys see how gorgeous this is? Oh my word. 
You can see his mouth perfectly here, the gray whiskers that he has. He's supposed to be a black cat. You know, you got to add some dimension in here. It, this is a beautiful piece, you guys. Oh, I love it so much. It has 28 colors, which most of our canvases are going to have 28 colors. And I am looking. Here we go. This is a 40 by 55. So she's good size. It is the canvas in its entirety. I'm trying to show you guys. Good size canvas. Gorgeous piece. Oh, you guys. I just have so many canvases that I want to show on this channel and work on. These are all the drills in each one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You do have a couple of some very bright yellows here. That, of course, go into the eye section for the beautiful golden yellow eye. Beautiful. In my honest opinion, you guys, one of my favorite, favorite pieces here. That is Salem the cat. Okay. So that is the first release that we have. There is more, folks. I want to open a window, brighten it up some more. I don't know what's going on with the lighting. All right. Second piece. Now, this one's not one of my favorite, favorite designs, but I really like the image and I wanted to give it a go. So this image, I have, you guys have probably seen this because I've seen it other places. This image I decided to call Fantasy River. This is what it looks like. This is what the original image looks like. This is a very difficult image to get the amount of detail that's in this image. So this canvas, you guys already know when I'm going through my canvases, I'll keep the boxes that are smashed or damaged or whatever. This canvas, for whatever reason, was wrapped in a really goofy way and it did get a little bit dented up. So that's why I took this out of the inventory and decided to keep this one for myself because I don't feel comfortable sending you guys a canvas like that. This one does sit at a different um, way. This one sits, what is this, landscape? I'm going to take you guys down so you can see the image a little bit better. Some gorgeous blues in this one. Oh, I love the blue, you guys. Again, we do have 28 colors in this. I'm going to bring you guys up so you can see symbol clarity. See that? We've done a lot better, I feel like, as far as getting the numbers and the letters inside of the circles um the last ones seemed a little bit squished some of you guys were bringing that to my attention i feel like we've really nailed it on these ones and have gotten better with adjusting the symbols there's always going to be something so you know i'm not striving for perfection i'm striving for functionality and affordability you know, I feel like sometimes you just can't have everything. So, beautiful pieces. Tons of blues in this one. This one has 27 colors. So, not quite 28. Take a peek at the drills. Lots of gorgeous purples and blues inside of this one. These packages are going to be pretty bulky with lots of color in them this first one's got two packages here of that color gorgeous purple again i love the image keep in mind it is a diamond painting so it's a little bit more difficult to portray the exact um you know variation of the image in a diamond painting so just keep that in mind there is the second image that we are bringing to the store as far as a new image is concerned. Okay. Next up, we do have, you know what, I'm going to save that one for almost last because that one deserves some more talking about. Oh, I didn't give you guys the size of the fantasy forest. 
The Fantasy Forest is a 45 by 60. Up next, this image is a 45 by 60 as well. Again, one of my favorite ones. Don't mind my inventory sheet on this one. I screwed up in the cutting of these pages. I left the cut marks on for the letters and it cut the letters out. So this image I'm calling Ocean Waves. You guys, I just love these landscape images of the ocean and the moon and the beachy kind of things. They're just beautiful in my opinion. Again, we do have 28 colors in this one. We're going to open this bad boy up. Again, we have another landscape image. Why are you trying so hard to focus? Oh, you guys, there's so many. I don't know what I want to do with all of these. I just want to work on all of them at the same time. Pull you guys back so you can see a little bit more of what this looks like. You've got the moon. You've got the palm trees. The wave. The water rushing in. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, one of my very favorite pieces. You've got some really good pops of color in here, but also some more darker hues in it as well. I'm so sorry for the lighting, you guys. It's like partly cloudy and the clouds keep covering the sun. I deeply apologize if it's bothering you. Gorgeous drills, tons of blue. Right here, we have like three different shades of blue-ish purpley colors right here. Then you got some more of your green tones, more blues, some purples. You got some of that pink that you can see in the reflections here um, on the clouds. And then again here, like in the horizon. Gorgeous colors. I'm not going to take them all out. I feel like that would just take way too much time to show... Um, every drill but I will show you guys in the last canvas we do I will take the drills out so you can get an up close um, image of that or picture of that so okay this is the last one as well and oh I'm gonna have to go pull one from the shelf to show you guys because I didn't okay so this image this is a 40 by 70, so we did go a little bit bigger on this one. We do have Stormy Sea. This is one of my very favorite pieces as well. I love the seascapes, and as soon as I saw this image, I knew that I had to have it. Again, same inventory sheet, same layout. All of this is stickers as far as the um, DMC numbers and the image of the painting itself. So let's take a peek at Stormy Sea. We do have 28 colors again. This one's a little bigger, so it's going to take some finagling to show you guys what this looks like without messing things up. It is bigger. You can already see the ship. Love it. The barrel. The anchor is a little bit more hard to distinguish because it was such a small feature, but it is there. This is super confetti heavy, you guys. I'm sorry, but the way that the image is and kind of like the spraying of the water here because you do have like this wave coming up in the back. So it's confetti. I apologize, but it is going to look fantastic when it's done. Love the cloud in the back. Super beautiful. Lots of teals in this one. Tons of teal in this one. You got your grays for the clouds, some white, dark greens, lots of blue. This, oh, you guys, there's so many. I don't know what to do. Not only that, but I mean, I still have like all my diamond art clubs as well. I, there is not enough hours in a day. There really isn't. Okay, so this next one is something a little bit more fun that I wanted to do for those people who do not like crazy, ridiculous paintings. So this painting I am calling Pinky the Owl. Super cute. Look at her. She's adorable. 
So the thing about this image is that, so at the point um, where we're at with ordering canvases, I do have two design teams. And uh, the design team A designs all of my larger designs and work with the alphabet. And design team B does these super fun images like this and they use symbols for theirs. So please keep that in mind that you will be seeing um, a mix. Don't always expect the alphabet, but I don't anticipate that being an issue for anybody because everybody orders from everywhere and we're all usually used to getting different, um, you know, symbols and stuff. So this is a small one. This is only a 22 by 22 um, image size on here from here to here so that's what that looks like we're gonna bring you guys up close since this is a smaller image I can show you guys a little bit better the symbol clarity perfect this is one of my favorite ones I'm honestly considering switching to symbols but I don't know I really like the simplicity of the alphabet but these symbols just look fantastic there are still training wheels but because the symbols are a little bit different you don't see them as much you can see the training wheels on the plus signs here so it just it depends on um, the symbol okay so we are remember all of our canvases are poured glue whoops Pull this back so you can see a little bit of that poured glue. Super shiny. There, you are gonna see these little like creases, or I don't know. People are still calling them rivers. It's just the way poured glue is. It's something that cannot be avoided. Does not affect the canvas quality whatsoever. We try our very hardest to not extend very far past the edge of the drill field on all four sides. So that's something that's a big deal to us as well. This Pinky the Owl, get this back on here the right way. Pinky the Owl only has 20 colors. You can see here a lot less drills than some of the others. I'm gonna show you guys lots of pinks, super fun little bit more darker colors on this side for her eyes and the star that she has on the bottom and then you do see some of the greens in there for um, the leaves that she's got back here with the flower so fun absolutely love this image I'm so proud of it I was worried because it was a smaller image but when I saw the chart for it I just knew Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about the restocks. So those are the new images. I do have one more new image that I will show you guys last. Okay, so one more new image. I actually have two more new images, but I'm, I, the other one I'm going to save after this because I do want to talk a little bit about it so again remember I told you not every canvas comes perfect and this one had this little crease in it so I removed it from the inventory and saved it for myself this is a gorgeous image oh my gosh you guys this is another one that as soon as I saw it I had to have it this is a 50 by 50 so it's good size you guys, oh my gosh, I just, I can't with these images. This one and the cat, ugh. Do you see how beautiful this is? This one I have decided to call Flaming Lotus. You have a gorgeous blue lotus flower right here. Some of the petals are falling off with this amazing sun behind it. And you still have mixes of the blue back here whoops the drills fell going down all around the canvas the stem and then when you get to the bottom oh you guys amazing you guys tell i'm just having a hard time today so the drills on this one ah oh, look at that blue right there love it 
I cannot get over this stuff, you guys. Yellow, oh man, lots of oranges in this one. I'll pick you guys up a little so you can see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Flaming Lotus. The name just came to me. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's put that back. That was a 50 by 50. Now, the new image that we do have is my first licensed artist image. This image, if you guys follow the Facebook page, you've already seen this image and you know the artist. This image comes to me from Scott. I don't know if it's green or greeny um, art. And he has named this image Bauman's Cove. And it is this gorgeous winter scene. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. This picture doesn't do it justice. The bottom snow here isn't just stark white snow. When you see it in person, you can see what I'm talking about. There's lots of blue and pink hues down here that just make it absolutely amazing. Again, with the 28 colors, because this is a licensed image, I have written on the inventory sheet that this is an officially licensed image by Scott Greeny Art, specifically for mystical diamond art. So please take that into consideration. For those of you who like to take images, please know that this is an image that I have officially licensed. You cannot find in a diamond painting anywhere else. Here is what the image looks like. I'm gonna pick you up again. You can see the waterfall in the background, gorgeous blue water with the all the snow on the mountain back there, all the snow down here. And then the tree also covered in snow. A little bit of the blue sky with some more of the snow clouds. Super gorgeous, super fun. I'm very proud of this one. I absolutely love it. Mr. Greeny is amazing to work with. Some of the drills for this one as well. You know what, since this is a new one, this is the one that I'm gonna take the time to look at the drills. So let's go through these real quick. I'm not gonna dump them out. But you can see I wanted to show you guys how awesome these drills have gotten. We got a little bit of feedback last time that some of the drills were, um, what's the word, like have tags and some trash, especially in the darker colors, which honestly in black, that's to be expected. It's really hard to avoid that in black because it's one of the most common colors. But you can see here, these drills look a uh, freaking amazing. Lots of shine. Ugh, this camera. Can you guys just see how awesome these are sparkling already? And these are not AB. But look at how good these drills look. So, a little bit of background on that. Something we are working on and striving for is the drill quality. All right, so this image is a 40 by 50 is what we have there. Now on to the restocks. I wanted to talk about the restocks because um, we had a problem with the restocks and I wouldn't have taken such extreme measures, but apparently the gentleman who was on team A doing the designs for the restocks completely redesigned Ocean Moon and Paradise Cove. And I considered not offering these for sale because they are different than the original image that you guys already know and love. So after some, you know, 
arguing <laughs> and talking back and forth. I don't want to say arguing, but apparently the gentleman who was working on these designs has, had messed up a significant amount of orders that my production company decided to, not production, but, you know, um, they decided to let him go. So I don't know if I would have taken those extreme measures, but I, I do want to bring this to your attention that this does not quite look the same that you saw on um, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's channel for the Ocean Moon. This is the new inventory sheet for Ocean Moon. The colors do vary slightly. The top half of the canvas I feel looks exactly the same, except the bottom you will see in the new design that it is a lot more blue than the old design. And I prefer the old design because I feel like you can make out the reflection of the moon a lot better. Um, when this goes live, the images for Ocean Moon will be updated to reflect this specific design. However, our next restock is already in production and we are reverting back to the original design for Ocean Moon and Paradise Cove. So please keep that in mind. I, I do have a significant amount of these canvases here and I will still be going ahead and putting them up on the website for you guys, but I did just want to let you know. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal to most of you, but I felt like I needed to put it on the table. So let's open her up. Ocean Moon comes in at a 40 by 60, so it's not a snack size, but it is not the biggest image out there so you can see with the moon looks pretty much the same right wait till we get to the bottom so you guys can see what I mean I mean don't get me wrong you can still totally make everything out it's just that it was different still gorgeous still love it okay does that make sense for you guys I hope so Again, still one of my favorite images. I'm absolutely loving this one. Um, and this new design is a design that I am keeping because I completely sold, I oversold of the Ocean Moon um, last month and had to let go of my own personal copy of Ocean Moon. Okay, had to cut out and pause you guys for a second there. So... Um, this is the last kit of the day, last restock, Paradise Cove. You guys are already familiar with this. As mentioned before, this current inventory and stock amount that I have that's going to be on the website right now is a different design. Inventory sheets have been updated to reflect that, but it is going to change. So since this is our last kit, I do want to go over the kit as well. At this time, I talked about this in the original launch video that I am not customizing these kits in any way, shape, or form. They are standard, whatever you want to call it, pumpkin spice, whatever, toolkits. You have your wax, your cheap green boat, your standard drill pen with a one and a three placer, and a small stack of baggies. That is it. These are not going to be customized in any way at this time. So let's get on to the canvas. So because I already have one of these, you guys are seeing what the canvas is actually going to look like when you get it. I do also want to point out that 95% of my canvases each come with a vinyl sticker. Looks something like this. Um, they're not all going to be gold, so don't expect gold because they're all different. And your inventory sheet in here as well, because I already have one of these, I don't have like my own version to show you. So this is what it's exactly going to look like when you guys open it up. Paradise Co. comes in at 40 by 55 centimeters, and that is the measurement from... Um, drill edge to drill edge. We're going to move this around. Show you guys what this looks like. And there it is. Paradise Cove. You can see, if you pay attention, you will see the differences in the other one. Um, 
the tree has less purple in the other one the tree had a little bit more purple in it and also um, these specks of darker water um, and darker shades of blue were not in the original and they are in this one so depending on feedback I don't I don't know which version we're gonna keep I'm pretty sure for ocean moon we're gonna revert back to the first image but for this one I'm not a hundred percent sure yet so we'll see what the feedback comes back as and go from there I do have to say I do like this tree better than the first one I feel like it stands out more same for um, the bottom here I feel like looking at it this way it stands out a lot better than the original version so you know that's just how it goes standard kit and lots of drills of course 28 colors in that one also okay that is the restock canvases and the new um designs that we have getting ready to launch over at mysticaldiamondart.com by the time this video is up you guys will have seen those canvases now on to the special announcement i am going to include in the title of the special announcement at the end I do not have the inventory sheets printed for this order yet, but I do have some very special images coming to the shop. I They shipped today, so I'm hoping in about 10 days, hopefully less, um, not sure yet, that those images will be here and ready to launch on the website. I have two officially licensed images coming to mystical diamond art from the artist josephine wall ta-da that is the huge announcement you guys i am so 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 excited to share this with you guys i have been working on this for weeks and weeks and weeks um working out this license for you guys and hashing out all of the nitty-gritty details i am going to put two of the images on the screen these are the first two images that we have decided to bring to mystical diamond art and those are the images that you will be seeing in less than a month i will do another video when those launch so that you guys can see them in person and what they look like i am so excited for this you guys have no idea um, she was one of the first artists that I reached out to and it's taken some time to hash everything out but I'm so excited to bring you guys the details on this and as soon as those canvases arrive I will be posting another video and have it ready to go when those are ready for launch so keep an eye out for that and trying to make sure I have nothing else that I'm forgetting I think that's it, you guys. I am so, so, so excited about this new launch with you guys. Hopefully, um, it's well received. I hope that you guys love all of the images that I have chosen um, to bring to the website. And I look forward to hearing your guys' feedback, packing your orders. I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for supporting me and being there and just diamond painting you guys it's so much fun okay so that is it that is all the ranting and the mumbling that I have to say you guys thank you for tuning in again I cannot thank you guys enough for being so supportive and amazing and I can't wait to hit that live button on that website so you guys can have access to everything love you guys thank you for supporting me i will see you in the next video the link to mystical diamond art is always in the description box and if you are one of those who doesn't care about the description box doesn't want to read it remember it's just mysticaldiamondart.com type it into your browser boom there you have it all right you guys thank you so much i'll catch you guys in the next video